Okay, I'm back again with an update video to the Deep Cycle Battery UPS video I made a couple of weeks back. Just letting you guys know that the system actually failed me. At least the ES350 failed me. Um, first of all, it wasn't able to provide enough power to run my desktop. And when I even attempted to try to run my desktop monitor and wireless router, the UPS literally crapped out on me. Uh, a diode blew up on the inside of it. I saw smoke coming out of my desk and I smelled electrical fire smell. The only thing I could do was unplug it, pull the fuse from the battery, and take everything apart. Uh, when I opened up the UPS, I found that it was a fairly simple and easy to replace part that had gone bad. It was a 2 amp, 200 volt diode uh, that went bad. I easily replaced that at Radio Shack uh, with some more diodes and it seems to work fine. Um, instead of stressing that UPS out more, I decided to retire it to my TV. It works fine over there. I've tested it over there. My TV is not stressing it out. And it also keeps my cable box and my uh, alarm clock up just in case of a power outage. So works pretty well there. And what I replaced it with initially was the APC ES750, which I still use. Uh, it's brand new but it just wouldn't work well with my deep cycle battery because it's set up to work only with AGM or valve regulated batteries which have a different technology this battery type of battery has an absorbent glass mat has very little acid and has a higher voltage whereas my deep cycle battery has a lower voltage doesn't have a glass mat and is filled with battery acid so the difference is that this battery likes to stay in between 13 volts and 13.5 volts as a full charge and the UPS recognizes that as a full charge whereas my deep cycle battery likes to stay in a normal voltage range which is 12.3 to 12.7 volts as a full charge. The problem is, is when my deep cycle battery is fully charged the UPS likes to recognize it as being only around 30 to 40 percent charge and shuts it down early. That doesn't mean my battery's low or anything or it's draining it. The software actually shuts it down despite it having more than enough power uh, because it reads the voltage as being too low because of the different type of battery technology that's in the batteries. So what I've had to do is I did a little research, um, found a UPS that will work with deep cycle flooded lead acid batteries and it turns out that that UPS was a trip light UPS. Uh, I still use the APC, it's still good, has the stock battery in it, it's running my network and my monitor only right now, and you can see that my battery life with the monitor and the two routers is around 41 minutes, which is not bad, uh, but definitely my desktop is plugged into the trip light UPS, which I'll show you in just a second. So here's the box for it, uh, trip light UPS, it's also 750 VA, and the nice thing is that it works well with my deep cycle battery. And also, since the UPS was relatively inexpensive, I got two of them. Two brand new trip light UPSs. Um, they cost about $100 a piece. I found a much better deal on both of them. Brand new. I paid less than $100 for both of them. And I'll show you just about what, how they work. So, two 750 VA. One of them is modded, one of them is not. Here's the stock battery from the modded one. has the same exact size battery as my APC 750, a 9 amp hour, which I have to correct in that video because I wrote it was an 8 amp hour. Uh, has a little bit of a better readout up front. It's a tower UPS, so you get these uh, LEDs to tell you it's on uh, AC power, it's on UPS power or battery backup. It's on whether well, the battery's dead or dying and also overload. Also has a nice mute button on it so when the power does go out instead of browsing through the software trying to shut it off you can just go over here press the button for one second and have it working. So like I said I modded one of these UPS's. One has a stock battery in it and uh, that's still in there. Three battery backup outlets, three surge, uh, phone line for both of them. USB connections for all of my UPSs are going into this computer and that's thanks to Triplite, Triplite's awesome uh, business management software which I'll show you in just a second. Uh, but here's my modded UPS. You can see the battery doors off, the 
battery cables are leading down to my deep cycle battery and it's actually 100% charged. And I'll show you that with my software. So you can see that my computer is running two different softwares. Uh, first of all, it's running APC's PowerShoot software. And you've seen that before in my other video on the APC ES750. And now I'll show you Triplight software. So here's Triplight software. Actually, let me make that smaller. And it has basically the same thing. It shows you things like input voltage, frequency, output, uh, the battery status, and other miscellaneous things. And what it also allows me to do is run all three UPSs off of the software. I'm able to configure the UPSs to shut down the computer. I can shut down each individual UPS. I can run self-tests on all three of them or one at a time if I want. And that's because Triplight's power alert agent console is just superior to APC. So you can see number two is my modded UPS. Number three is my normal uh, trip light UPS and number one is my APC ES750 again I'm able to read input voltage battery uh, charge everything like that and let me go back to number two the modded one uh, just to show you the battery the battery is at 13.4 volts that's because the charge controller in the UPS charges it higher and won't damage it it's currently at hundred percent and it's currently still charging. It does take a full day to charge the battery and I haven't had it hooked up for a full day. So it's going to continue to charge. It says I have 67.5 minutes of battery life remaining. And that's just the software recognizing that since it is a normal flooded lead acid battery, it's still not going to read the correct voltage and everything like that. But what happens is once I disconnect the USB cable, it actually runs much longer for hours and hours instead of 67.5 minutes. That's just because the software is recognizing that, hey, this isn't a fully charged battery because it's a flooded lead acid battery versus an AGM battery. So that's the only difference there. Um, I have tested the system. The first time I tried to test it with the APC, it ran for 30 seconds, uh, which was pretty bad. But this system with the new Triplight UPSs run for hours. I've already had it up for an hour or so and since I did it late at night you know I went to sleep I had to plug the UPS back in because I didn't want it to fully drain um, but I'm pretty sure that this thing will run for about three to four hours with the load that I have on it and the calculations that I've made. Uh, so that's pretty much the changes I've made to the system. Uh, again replace the UPS's and actually one important thing I forgot to mention about those UPS's that actually is an advantage over the APC is that they are line interactive UPS's they have AVR or automatic voltage regulation which allows them to adjust the voltage either raise it or lower it without having to go on battery so you know when it storms your lines are moving around power kind of dims out maybe it surges and usually a UPS at least my APC's will go on battery power and waste the battery and I will have less battery when the power actually does go out. So with the line interactive UPSs, uh, you know, it adjusts for those and it reserves the, the battery's power for when the power actually does go out. So I'm pretty happy with the system. Uh, again, I'm using both monitoring softwares. I use the APC's monitoring software to check my loads on the wireless router and my monitor. And in order to control all three UPSs, I use the Triplight Power Alert console, which is superior to APC, I have to admit that, which I wouldn't really expect. Before, I thought, you know, APC was just the top because they were the most popular, but I found out a lot of information about Triplight that made my decision in purchasing. So, Triplight is actually the first company to manufacture a uh, consumer based personal computer UPS. They've been around for 80 years. They know what they're talking about. And these UPSs, along with the many reviews online uh, that I found on them, just made my decision for purchasing them. I'm pretty happy with them. Uh, they work well with my deep cycle battery and I'll be using them for quite a while. So I hope you guys enjoyed that update and sort of mini review. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.